In this video I'm going to show you how to embed multiple FOSCAM camera feeds into a single web page. I get that question a lot and it's a difficult one for me to answer because different people have uh, you know different uh, comfort levels when it comes to programming and different experiences and such. So what I did is I created this website uh, that will auto generate the code and it's, it's pretty straightforward but if you're still having trouble then this uh, this video is for you. The first thing you're going to want to do is scroll down and make sure you read this big red disclaimer I have here. It's real important. Essentially, it just lets you know that, you know, it's dangerous to put things on the internet. Your your web, you know, your web camera is an internet connected device and uh if it's exposed to the internet, uh you know, people can hack into it. They can turn on your uh microphone and listen to what's going on or view the picture and you know you don't want to have an unintentional YouTube video go viral so um, with that said read it and then scroll down to step two uh, actually step one's important and that is you're gonna want to set up um, a visitor account a guest account so that uh, those are the cred credentials you're gonna use um, in your embeddable code and even though it's a guest account and you're gonna assign it visitor privileges you know again don't assume that it's a it's bulletproof and people can't do damage with your camera they certainly can they certainly can uh you know they're guaranteed to be able to listen to your mic and all that stuff your code's going to be very visible uh there's sites out there that actually look for this type of stuff and 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 exploit um you know vul vulnerabilities okay so for the FI8918W the user settings screen uh looks something like this and um, you're essentially going to put in a guest account. You're going to give it a username, guest, password, whatever you like. And you're going to give it uh, visitor privileges. Um, and if you have the FI9821W, that one is you know, it looks very similar. Again, you're going to essentially click one of these boxes, put a username, put a password, assign it a privilege. I already have one here, so I'm not going to do that. All right, so once you've done that and um, you're ready to go, you move to step two. And in step two, I've set up a form essentially. And in this form, you are going to put your um, IP address for your camera. So for instance, I'm going to slap one in here and I have the IP address and the port number. You're going to want to put your guest username and your password. And you're going to want to select the right camera. So in this case, I'm going to put the FI 8918W. I actually have the FI 8918W and the 9821W, so I know this works with that. Uh, I, from experience, I've learned that the 10W behaves like the 18W. The API is the same, so um, that's why we can support that as well. For other cameras, I don't know. I haven't. I don't have them. Haven't played with them. But uh, you know, these three cameras are supported. So you're going to do that. You are going to put your other camera. And the second URL. Same thing, I have the same username and password for that. It's already set to the FI9821W. And if I had a third and fourth camera, I'd do the same. Now what's important to note is I'm using my internal network uh, IP address. If you have done all this port forwarding stuff and your camera is accessible to the outside world, then you would be putting that, you know, IP address there. Well, it would be a a name like you know www.google.com colon something provided you were Google which you're not alright select click give it a second if you did it right then your you know greasy mug is gonna pop up down here or whatever your cameras pointed at and so both cameras seem to be working they look different and I'm gonna scroll down further and I'm just gonna copy this and this is the code. So I've, this is the code that you're seeing. Well, you're seeing something. I, I'm shrinking it down in this screen. But essentially, this is the code you're going to want to put in your um, website. And so what you can do for, te for a test, and we'll do that here, is I'm going to paste that code in here. And I'm going to save it. I'm going to call it camera test HTML. I'm going to give it an HTML extension. I'm going to flip over to my desktop and click the camera test HTML file. And if it worked out well, there you go. You can see the two cameras. Uh, this is the FI8918W and this is the FI9821W. I'm going to scroll down so you can see that a little better. 
and that's it. And if we uh, view source, just for fun, you'll see that that's all I have in here, you know, and normally you wouldn't put that in a web page, um, you know, alone like that, uh, but apparently you can. Um, if you want to add more cameras, you know, the, the web page auto generating tool that I created can support four cameras. Um, you can, you can manually add more cameras as well. You can grab your code. Actually, let me just go to my notepad. So you can actually go in here and, you know, copy one of these lines to add a third camera or a fourth or a fifth or whatever you like. And the important thing to change is obviously going to be the IP address. And you're going to want to change your username and password if they're different. And then lastly, the ID of the camera. You know, you'll see that the various cameras have different IDs. And that's important because, you know, this image tag, uh, each image tag is going to automatically call the functions above and it's going to pass in its unique identifier and then that thing is going to you know update the picture and then it's going to want to, you're going to want to update the correct portion of the screen and that id tag is what tells the program to update the the correct portion of the screen so those all have to be unique but that's the gist of it and those are the results so hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any other questions or there are other FOSCAM related uh, questions you have or other videos that you want to see, let me know and uh, I'll do my best to produce that for you.